What, what, what's good homies welcome back to another episode in our west tigers rebuild series now i know i said there wouldn't be any more pre-game lineup talk because it's pretty much the same squad from now on but i did however work on this little graph it's just a little update of how the people's choice voting has been going up until this point no spoilers or anything like that but i do have a little graph of the top five as you can see here it's pretty much a race between three players with the top two literally neck and neck i pretty much made this just to show you guys that i am keeping track and also just to thank the viewers that actually do participate in the player ratings so yeah that's what the tally looks like right now i'll let you guys uh, speculate on who you think is in the top five all right so round 24 we're back at home currently sitting in fifth position right now and we're taking on the last ranked team in the league and that's the Mandy Waringa Sea Eagles. And if I'm honest, I wasn't expecting them to be dead last. As we look at how they've traveled this season, they've only won 3 from 21 games. They've had one draw in their current form, they've only won 1 out of 5. It's a pretty decent manly outfit. They've got a couple of new signings in uh, Zane Tedavano, Dave Taylor, Mitchell Dodds. And yeah, it's, like I said, it's a pretty decent, uh, it's a pretty decent side. As for us, we're sitting at 5th, coming off a win against the Knights, and uh, we're only 4 points away from the top 4. Alright, as we jump into the action here, we're going to start things off with a little penalty kick to touch. We're going to take the tap just outside their 40, as we send it to Elijah Taylor, and he's going to drive his legs past the 40, and he's around 35 meters out. On the first, we go to Reynolds, he links up with Packer, and a beautiful run, continuing that form from the last game against the Knights. A little setup to the left here, as we go to Reynolds, and we don't get the pass away, but want to get pulled down just inside their 20. Third tackle for us, we go to Nangama, he sends out to, uh, to Nofu Luma, who goes on a decent little run here, getting stopped 5 meters out from the try line. On the fourth, as we throw a beautiful... Beautiful play, a beautiful pass to Russell Packer there by Idris. That was a slick little no-look pass by Jamal Idris. Such a dope try as we take another look on the replay here. Super simple stuff. I thought I might have butchered it by sidestepping, but thankfully, uh, Trebojevic was up on the line and we were able to ground the ball there. It may not look like much to some, but I think that might actually be a contender for try of the year. I'm just a sucker for those really slick looking plays. As we turn the 4 into 6 with Lolo here, and we're going to go up by a converted try. 14 minutes in, back with Reynolds. As he sent it to McQueen, breaks the line, and he's going to get forced backwards, just, up, uh, just past halfway. Fourth tackle as we look to find the line here, a settling little kick. As it sits up perfectly for us in goal, scooped up by Cherry Evans, and he's going to muscle his way out of the in goal area and into the field of play. That was a huge play by their skipper. I think he's their skipper. I thought, oh, actually, it might be a, uh, it might be Mighty Tapel as they try and get a kick away on the last, a shocking kick, and it's Lafo Luma there fielding it and getting the return, as he gets to pull down inside our twenty. On the first, we go to McCurick, who runs straight through the ruck. A massive hole there until he finally gets pulled down inside our 40. As we attempt to shift the ball here, it's going to be Elijah Taylor this time bursting through the gap, fence off one defender, and he's going to get pulled down 35 meters out from their line. On the third, we go to Mazzolino, another line break through the middle. He gets pulled down, uh, let's say 19 meters out from the line. As we shift it to the left, Reynolds with a beautiful cutout ball to Nangama. Puts him through the line untouched as we score our second try of the game. As we take another look on the replay, and it's been quite a while since I've scored off this particular play, it used to work a treat for us in Season 1, much like it did for us on this occasion, as Nangama crosses the chalk without a single hand being laid on him. Alright, back off little head, I take the shot. A fairly difficult one here from pretty much the sideline. As we bring it back around here from right to left, and we want to get the two points and go up by two converted tries. All right, back on the first tackle with uh, Manly in attack. A nice little bump there by the Coltrane, 
As he gets the pass away to Jake Chaboyevich, he's going to get pulled backwards. Back on the second, they go to green as they look for that switch of play and then the inside ball. Chaboyevich gets around Taylor, fends off uh, Dan Super with the back until he eventually gets pulled down. About 4 meters out from the line, they go short to this right side and Lane's going to get held up here. There's some pretty entertaining footy on display here, starting off with that outside inside. As we uh, jump back into the fourth tackle, and Surinan's gonna try and power his way over the line. Four short, fifth and last. They go to Green in the pocket, he puts up the bomb. A decent kick here, but it's well fielded by Sully as he defuses the bomb and we end up defending our line. Alright, on the first. Couple of minutes remaining in the half here as Grant finds space around the ruck. Some terrible defense in the first half by Manly. And they're going to actually knock the ball on here. And we're going to get the feed to the scrum. So inside our 40. As we feed the scrum here. We get it away to Reynolds. As we try a little switch of play of our own. Trying to catch them out on the short side. But it's well read by the, by the Manly D. As we go short to Reynolds. He just takes it to the line. A few seconds remaining. We decide to chance our arm here as we throw it wide. A beautiful ball inside, and then we find Grant here, putting him through the gap. As he finds a little here, we get the ball out to Mercer Sully, and we're gonna score another dope try in the corner, right as the siren sounds for half time. Moses Sully on the receiving end. As we take another look here, on the instant replay, we went to uh, Dan Tupo actually, who it was that threw that beautiful inside ball to McCurick. He then links up with Grant. Grant to Lolo here, then Lolo here gets it out to uh, not quite a speedster, but Mosa Sully does get the job done. Finishes the try in the corner. Alright, as we jump back with Tui Lolo here, taking another shot at goal. Another difficult one, this time it's on the other side of the field. As we try to swing it back around, but... I guess it just wasn't meant to be as we head into the break still with the 16 point lead as we take a look at the halftime match stats and as you can see we've had all of the ball here in the first half we have made three errors and we've missed uh, only three tackles although we haven't really defended much all right so getting back into the action in the second half we're going to start things off with manly as Sean Lane gets, goes on a nice little run here downfield, gets the pass away to Tapel, and he goes on a little destructive run of his own. They're just inside our 40 at this point. As they get it to Green, Green back inside to Jake Chaboyevic. On the third, we go wide to Lane, and Lane goes back inside looking for Tom Chaboyevic, but it's well read here. Still, they're on our 20. As they try and shift it wide here, and it's going to be Aquila Uate who gets around a one defender, but he's immediately wrapped up. Back on the last, they go to Green. Green puts up another bomb. Trebojevic giving chase back to back, right into the breadbasket of uh, Matt McCurick this is. And with no backs in sight, we're going to race away for our fourth try of the game. A little fortuitous here as we try and zigzag to beat the defenders. We eventually score under the posts and push our lead out even further. So yeah, like I was saying, we got a little fortunate there when uh, Trebojevic tried to bat it back. As we line up the goal here, fairly easy kick. As you'd expect, we add the extras and we're going to extend our lead to 22 points. A 22 point lead. Back with Manly as uh, Fanua Blake takes it to the line. And he's going to get pulled down for the third tackle. They throw a flat ball to Tapel. And he's going to get pulled down just past halfway. As they go short once again, Fanor Blake through the line. Gets a nice little offload away to Dave Taylor. And he fights for every meter as he gets pulled down just inside our 20. Alright, back to green. And surprise, surprise, they go for another bomb. It's actually caught by Daly Cherry Evans. And he's going to finesse his way to the try line here as Manly finally get on the board. It took them uh, pretty much 70 minutes. But as the saying goes, it's better late than never. As we take one more look here at the finish on the replay. Daily Cherry Evans giving chase. 
makes the catch, impressive catch there. And then pretty much after that, a little lazy effort by Chris McQueen. He lets Cherry Evans through and he hits us with a nice little swan dive to finish. As we jump back with Manly to take the conversion with Dylan Walker, it ends up being the final points of the game. And we're going to defeat the last placed Manly Warringah Seagulls 22 points to 6. Although Manly are at the bottom of the table, I was expecting a more competitive match just by looking at the team that they did have. What we got instead though was a Manly Sea Eagle mauling here at home. As we take a look at the full time match stats here, and it's going to be Matt McCurick picking up man of the match. So as usual, before we get out of here, I'm going to show you guys the, um, the individual player stats for you to cast your votes. And yeah, as always, drop that like button for more Rugby League Live 4 content. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you. you, you, you. Yeah. Hey. Later. Be rub rub. Be the wrong me some something. I won't beat it up some something. You're diving at the rubber some something. You need to give it up to someone.